Hey, Chris, it's Alec. Oh. Hi, Alec. Hey, happy I was birthday. Not, I was, okay, well, I was not expecting you. Yeah, yeah. So, uh-huh. thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, how was how was your birthday today? My birthday was yesterday, and it was, it was, it was good. Oh, oh, it was, it was yesterday? I celebrated yesterday? with my family. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, yeah, I, I saw the pages you got uploaded uh, today. Um, yeah. Uh, what's up with that trial, Chris? That, that was kind of yeah. like, that was kind of uh, out of left field. That was, I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, well, you drew, you, you, uh, drew me you drew, you, you drew me in a set in a setup of uh, the of uh, being bared false witness from uh, your from your parody of my science shoe in uh, compar- in comparison of uh, that of the other Chris being the real one and not me, which I was the real deal. And then you set me on fire. And then recently, you par- you portrayed me getting my head chopped off in a saw blade with gore detail. Chris, you didn't read that. That last page, did you read the um, the page? Because what happened there was um, that was a picture of the real you in the comic, and I said, you know, like your head got chopped off, but then you came right back and said, no, okay, we were just faking. I didn't. You, your head didn't actually get chopped off. Hmm. Yeah, you could have made that more obvious. Well, if you read the text, it would have been obvious. You know. Hmm. It, it, I, there was a lot. There was text there. I mean, it's. I, sp- I spelled it out. I, I, it specifically had you say, "Don't worry, this is fake." You know, my head's not really chopped off. I'm fine. You know, um, you accused me of using, or well, not accused. I mean, of using violence. I do use violence. That's true. But I was just kind of. Uh, it seemed kind of weird that your comic has suddenly taken a very gory turn. I mean, it's like just, it's just one time. But you said violence is wrong, though. One yeah, times. Yeah, well, you, you you did violence onto me. I was just returning the favor. Oh, revenge is okay, though? Chris, you, you said violence is wrong. You didn't say it's okay in the case of revenge. And I'm kind of I'm kind of curious, why is this trial taking place? Like, why are Alec and Mao and me, or Al, Alec and Mao and... and and uh, and Evan and Sean, uh, why why are we on trial? Okay, well, let me see. The uh, cop, the the uh, whole bunch of copy copycat of practically everything from my, uh, nearly everything from my books. Set me on fire, chopping my head off, false witness, and uh, oh yeah, how about uh, wanting to kill Simone the Rose too? Um. Do you remember all the times that we talked about Simone La where I explained to you that I wanted you to kill her because she's not your character and Evan wanted her gone from your comic? Yeah. Chris, you told me, you swore up and down to me that that you understood the point I was trying to get across to you and that you you understood yeah, I what did, I meant. Yeah, yeah, I did understand that. Well, no, you're lying to me, Chris. You obviously didn't. No, I'm God, Chris, I can't it. believe... I cannot believe you did this, Chris. You, you know, I thought that you were just, you know, kind of going, yeah, uh-huh, just mouthing along and, 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 you know, pretending to understand and saying what I want to hear to get me off the phone. And, you know, I said that to you. I asked you, are you doing that? And you said, no, you said no. You, you, you know, you promised, you understood, you... you you would you comply, you, you believed what I was saying, but then this trial comes along, and what you're telling me right now is apparently my words went in one ear and out the other with you, and you think that that me and Evan did something wrong to you. You think that you have done nothing wrong? Do you seriously believe that we are you know antagonists and you are just a saint here? Hmm. Let me think about that moment. Yeah, okay, well, what... what while you're thinking about it, remember, don't tell me the answer that you think I want to hear. Tell me what you really believe. That's the answer that I actually want to hear, is what you really believe. You know, I'm looking at... 
uh, the page here where you had like 10 people simultaneously electrocute me. Um, Sonichu says, oh, I'm not gay. Chris, how many times How many times did I tell Okay, another thing apparently you didn't listen to. How many times did I tell you that I never portrayed Sonichu as gay? I explained clearly to you cuz you thought that he and Astrochu were gay and I explained to you no, they're just like they were just hugging cuz they're friends, they're close friends. And I thought yeah, that you understood that, but Now oh, go ahead. Yeah, but, it can be, but the portrayal can be misconstrued, especially with the uh, all the pink, all the pink-hearted drawings that you yeah, did. Yeah, 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 and you did misconstrue and, and the one, it. And the one where they were, you know, when the one where they were lying next to each other in okay. a bed situation. You, okay, you did misconstrue it. That's true. And then you brought that up to me, and then I explained to you what it really meant. And now you apparently ignored that and just. You, you you say you know Sonichu says you know, you're you're portraying me as gay. I, I'm not portraying Sonichu as gay. I've never done that. The only gay characters in my comic are Wild and Simon. Chu, well, Simon Chu's bisexual, and uh, I think that's it right now. Actually, oh well, Mitch, Mitch is gay in my comic, although I haven't shown him like have a lover yet. Yeah, none of my fans misunderstood that. I mean, not that it really matters, because the point is that you you misunderstood it and you brought it up to me and I explained it to you. My, my I don't care that you misunderstood something. What I care is that apparently you didn't even listen when I explained to you. Because anybody can misunderstand something, but you brought it up to me and I explained it to you and... You made it sound like you did understand, but apparently you didn't. Actually, um, I did understand, but I still had the anger no, and rage. I no. had the anger against you. The, and why? I and I why to would you me. have anger against me? If I explain... Well, one, that the, one big the, reason is continuing the... Uh, average, continuing the uh, blasphemous advertisements on, on like, Wikipedia against me. Oh, really? Like, hey, uh, hey, hey, do you remember when I explained to you... Hey, Chris, 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 do you remember when I explained to you last time that my ads are staying up there because you completely insulted me and didn't respect what I wanted you to do in the apology video? But yet what you're saying to me now is you think that the ads are an attack on you. You're just completely forgetting what I told you before. Or, or you're, maybe you're not forgetting it. Maybe you're just choosing to disregard it. They were a direct consequence of your actions. You had the power to get rid of the ads, and you did nothing. So how can you be mad at me for having the ads up? When I gave you several ways out, and you didn't take them. Well, at least I, at least I, at least I would, by your request, I put and uh, and hand wrote all the apologies and everything, and killed Simona. Oh, oh no! You said that you said that me and uh, Mao and Sean and Evan killed Simona. That's what your comic says. Apparently, you didn't fulfill that part of the requirement either. Because I wanted you to kill her, but you accused me of killing her, and then you killed us in your comic. What kind of apology is that? When Okay, an apology is when you do something wrong and you acknowledge it and you make reparations to whoever was wrong. An apology is not where um, you attack the person that you owe an apology to. Hmm. It's like you said, it's like, you know, you handed me a bowl of ice cream, you know, said, hey, here's some ice cream for you, but then just as I reached out for it, you threw it on the ground. That's kind of what it feels like. I, Chris, do you remember last time I told you that you were the one who drew the Voltorb? You were the one who killed Simona. Yeah, the request of a death of, of one of my characters comes with a price. I'm sorry, and what was I that? Have, uh, 
I said the quest of the the quest of the killing of one of my characters. Not real. your character. Not no, Simona was not your character. She was Evans. Yeah, but anyway, with all the uh, mind. Yeah, but anyway. The, so you, you the, said uh, yeah, but anyway. So are you are you acknowledging that Simona was not yours? I know I said Simona was not mine, but you just I did but, not, but, but two I did, minutes but I did ago not you said very much for all the uh, anger and torment and that such abuse that I continued to get from Evan. What anger. what what abuse and, did you get from him? Verbal verbal abuse and like like how in, in he, a mailbag. He sent you emails requesting you to stop using the character that. Was his and, and and then threatening to stick his lawyers on me? Yeah, because you were committing illegal acts against him. Anyway, the point is, Simona is dead now. Yeah. Well, no. the The point is that um, you apparently don't listen when I talk to you. That's my point. Right. Actually, because because you believe that you are in the right and everyone else is in the wrong, and you is that your TV going in the background? Do you ever turn your TV off when you talk to people on the phone? That might be kind of nice. I, well, actually, I do turn the TV off sometimes. All right, I'll oh. turn, all right. Well, I'll turn it off now. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you for that. Um, who is uh, Sandy, by the way? Sandy, like Simona's daughter? Wild and Simona's daughter, yes. How can Simona have a daughter when she's not supposed to exist in your comic? You know, Evan might get pissed about Sandy existing. Well, the, well still, Sandy did not originate from Simon's shoe. She kind of looks like exactly like Simona, but with like Lisa Simpson hair. She did originate from Simona. I mean, she's like a clone of Simona. She is not a clone of Simona. She is a ground type rose chew. Yeah, isn't that what Simona was? Do you even realize the point of getting rid of Simona in the first place? It was because. Okay. Evan was mad about Simona because Simona was just a ripoff of Simon Chu. And it looks like Sandy is a ripoff of Simona, which by a corollary makes her a ripoff of Simon Chu as well. I disagree with that. You can disagree all you want. It doesn't make it true. You can tell me the sky is orange as much as you want. It doesn't change the fact the sky is blue. I mean, judges will okay, agree well, with that. Okay, well, actually, still, Sandy does have an origin that's definitely not definitely not one that Simona was from. Just plain, but she plainly, but orig- based off of somebody, some other character. She origins from. She Simona. actually was. She actually was born as a Rosie, and some soft from things. Simona. <laughs> You know, this probably doesn't matter a whole lot. I bet you're not ever going to use Sandy again. Oh, yes, I, mean, I will. Because well, we, constru- we need a constructor. <clears throat> a main con- we need the main constructor in the city of Quickville, and Simona was that, so now Sandy has to be the one that feels in Simona's shoes. Can't you just have, like, um, like, a, like a construction crew? Like, you know, construction workers,